I'm Bobby, and you're about to hear the story about why my eyes don't look like this, but instead look a bit different. This is what my eyes look like. On the 9th of February 1999, I was born blind, so I was sent over to England for an operation when I was three weeks old that would remove a cataract from each of my corneas, which is called a corneal transplant, and ever since then I've had nine of those, I think, and 15 major operations, three of which have been performed in America, one failed, which you'll be hearing a lot about in the later parts of this video, and um, I've had over 100 EOAs, which is an examination under anaesthetic, which is like a mini operation. I get them done in Temple Street Hospital. So I am going to be telling you guys about what I like doing in this video and the daily struggles that I go through um, being visually impaired. I really, really hope that you enjoy this video and I hope it changes the way you think and treat um, people with a visual impairment because people don't understand the kind of like struggles they go through every single day not just every week every single day so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video guys bye one of the things i have to do morning and night every single day is my medication this involves drops and tablets and it sometimes is annoying but it helps me so i deal with it that's a normal person using the internet. As you can see, it's no hassle to turn it on and it takes five minutes to set up, even less. But with me, I have to look into my startup menu and as you can see, I'm clicking on a tablet that says Zoom Text. And in a few seconds, you'll see why it's called Zoom Text. I've been using Zoom Text for at least five or six years now and it's the only reason I can use my laptop properly. I absolutely love it and I think it's a great system and a brilliant idea for visually impaired people. It can also has this thing where it talks to you, so that's good for blind as well. I've always wondered what it's like to be able to read or write wherever you want, but with me, I have to do anything like that using a screen called the Eclipse. And I'm sure everyone that knows me has at least heard or maybe even seen the Eclipse. This is it in function. It's the only reason I can read my own writing. You know, looking for a box of tissues isn't that all, isn't that easy, you know. I mean, for me, I end up looking around for at least five seconds before I even find the box. As you can see here, I am, well, fingering the bread. This is how I count money. I feel the ridges on the side of the coin to tell which one it is. If it's a 50, the, the ridges are going to be really closely joined together and it's a big coin. The same for a 10 except it's a smaller coin. 20s ridges are separated more. 1 and 2 euros are sometimes harder to tell, but I just hold them up to light. People do actually forget that I'm visually impaired. I mean, I'll have someone come up to me and this person will know me very well. And they'll say, hey Bobby, can you do this for me? And... I have to tell them that I can't because I can't see it and they become so apologetic but that's a really really good thing because that means that they forgot that I was visually impaired and that's a really in compliment because that means that although I'm visually impaired and that I've been through a retina detachment I still don't even act like I'm visually impaired and I'm only 13 and I face daily struggles so that is a huge huge compliment. This is my mobility cane. I haven't actually used it properly yet but it's meant to be really good so I should probably use it. The next one is my symbol cane, and it just lets people know that I'm visually impaired. Walking is also sometimes a struggle. I like to link someone so they can tell me where the steps are and what I have to look out for. When I have to find my iPod or any of my devices, I end up feeling the counters until I find it because all my devices are black, and as you can see there, so are my counters, so it's kind of annoying. I have people ask me and say to me, like, you're so positive, you never complain about it, like, you're such an inspiration. And to be honest with you, I'm not an inspiration and I am not an amazing person. I am a normal person. I've just been through a lot and I know how to make inspirational sentences and videos about it that is not an inspirational person that is just that's a talent that i have that's not an inspirational person i've been over to america once before but in 2009 i was sent over in november for an operation that was going to be performed on my left eye this time i had already got it done on my right eye and it was a man-made corneal transplant similar to all the other one of my corneal transplants except it was man-made and a much bigger procedure 
The one on my right eye took five and a half hours, but then the one on my left eye only took an hour. It was meant to take an hour and a half, but it was slowed down because it failed at the end. My retina detached, which meant I lost all my sight in my left eye, which had previously been my good eye. It was a really, really hard time for me, but I was sent over again one month later to get it reattached by a surgeon called Nina Chung. And she is an absolutely amazing surgeon and she reattached my retina. But I will never have the same amount of sight that I, that I used to have and it is restricting in some ways. But my friends here, as you can see, made me letters and I brought them with me. So it made me feel like they were with me throughout my trips to and from America. Before the first operation in 2009, my mum sent over this red Hello Kitty dressing gown and I've been using it ever since. I wore it until I was told to go into the theatre because then I had to take it off. And in the pocket, just before I went into theatre, I found this letter written on, at the time, my favourite paper. And this is what it said. What happened that year was really, really sad. I mean, it changed the way I thought about life and the way I thought about sight and the way I viewed things, not in a visual aspect, in a mental aspect. And it really, really opened up my eyes to how I judge things in a way, I suppose you could put it that way. Um, but definitely it has restricted me in some ways and it has made me a better person in some ways, I think. Um, I will never think and see the way I used to before that operation but I have now a brand new life and it is a brand new lease of life to me um, and I have new hobbies and the hobbies that you're about to see here are more kind of past the time things that I do occasionally when I'm at home my other hobbies include swimming horse riding although I haven't done that in ages athletics aerobics spending time with my friends making youtube videos listening to music baking I love all that type of stuff I love animals as well anyway so thank you for I don't know, staying with this video. This is the only the ball that I'm not afraid of because it's big and green and I can see when it's coming to me. And I know this song is everywhere right now, but it's really good when you know how to do it. It's the P P Cup song from Pitch Perfect. To conclude this video, I'm going to tell you guys that whatever you've got going on in your life, you can accomplish it no matter what is your problem, okay? No one can stop you from doing anything you want to do. Don't let anyone dictate the way you live your life. Please, please be yourself, be unique. If that means following the crowd, okay, that's fine. That's not exactly unique, but you can have a unique way to following the crowd. I don't know, just be yourself. Set tunnel vision on whatever you want to do and accomplish it, but also enjoy yourself along the way. Because unless you want to be sad in your life, there's no point on being here if you're going to be sad. I mean, be happy. Don't let anyone else dictate the way you live. Think positively as much as you can. It's normal to think negatively, but those negative thoughts have to go afterwards because they'll just destroy you and then eventually all the positive thoughts will go away and the negative thoughts will take over and you'll become depressed and that is not a good thing, trust me. So you just need to think as positive as you can. Don't let anyone stop you doing what you want to do, guys. You're your own person. It's up to you how you think and how you act. So please don't let anyone stop you from doing anything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Like it, share it, whatever you want to do. But please, 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 if you have any negative comments towards my video or the way my eyes look, don't tell me them because, trust me, I've heard every name in the book. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye! I don't have a disability. I have a difference. Thanks for watching.